Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to lock down Windows desktop computers using group policy. Now I've had quite a few people message me and ask me could I make a video with some of the things that you need to do to lock down a, a desktop computer or a workstation and that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Now you will need to have Windows 10 Pro and above to edit the group policy editor so we're going to put GP edit in and open up the group policy editor and uh, we'll then make this a little bit larger here so we can see what we're doing. So we're going to disable a bunch of features inside Windows using this tool here. So you can see here we're in user configuration and we're going to go to administrative templates and then we're going to pull this little uh, arrow down here and go to control panel. Now control panel is one of the areas that you're probably going to want to lock people out of and that is to stop people tampering with that computer so you can see here uh, prohib uh, access to control panel and pc settings once you open this up and you enable this feature it will then stop that person on that workstation from going into control panel and also pc settings now also from here you can see also shown only a uh, specific control panel items this means that you can basically remove certain items so you can still get access to the control panel and uh, you know basically uh, put in there exactly what you want so you can enable this and of course you can then use uh, the codes to put in I've already made a separate video on that so you can check that out but basically you put in certain uh, things to uh, allow them to use and also disable some of the others so that's one way of doing it or you could just block it all together now another area is inside user configuration administrative templates and system and what we're going to do here is disable the command prompt now people can do some damage with command prompt and get access to other areas of the computer so what we want to do is prevent them from using command prompt so once we're inside here we're going to click enable and disable the command prompt script processing also i'm going to say yes there and apply and OK that and this will block them from using a command prompt. Now also while you're inside here you will see an area called uh, prevent access to registry editing tools and this will restrict them from getting into the registry and that's another area where they can damage uh, the operating system and we definitely want to enable that feature and also block registry edit it from running silently. I'm going to say yes there as well and click OK and this will then block them from using the registry editor. Now if you have a look inside here you can see areas like Windows updates, uh, automatic updates and you can also see uh, run only uh, specific uh, types of Windows applications. So we're going to go into the Windows automatic updates and we'll disable this here and also you can enable it as well if you want to it's entirely up to you. Uh, but if you want to go into the run only specific uh, Windows applications you can do and there's a bunch of other areas inside here like restrict the programs from being launched from the help now you can also do this as well and this will stop them from uh, running applications from that location so inside here uh, you can enable this feature and then you will be able to put in uh, the executable files inside here so enter the executable separate by commas and that means example calc.exe paint.exe and so on you can get the list of files which you might want to disable i.e command prompt and reg edit and all those other types of files notepad and those other programs that you might want to try and block if they're trying to work a way around to getting the executable files to run from another location on the computer here. So let me just show the extensions here so we can see the executable files so we know which ones we're looking for. And you can see here explorer.exe and we can also see hh.exe and a bunch of other ones. You can add them all in here and this just stops them from running applications from the area and trying to get the program to open from that location. So we'll just edit all these in and you can just put these inside here like so. Okay, you can be a bit more imaginative and put more in there, but I'm just gonna do these uh, for now, okay? Once you've done that, you can apply and okay that and that will stop them from running programs from that area. 
Okay, so let's move on to another area here. So we're going to take a look at, let's just see here. We've got, what else we've got here? We've got remove uh, storage access. And this is going to allow you to block um, people putting in, say, USB flash drives and copying data. Maybe you've got sensitive data on that machine and you want to block them from using any type of device, plugging that in. You can also do separate items like, uh, for instance, removable disks and you can remove the read and write access to there. Maybe you just want to allow them to read uh, the access on that drive but not be able to write to it. You can do that so you can set that up to exactly how you want to uh, on your workstation or desktop PC. Okay, so we're inside now computer configuration and security settings. Right click and go new software restriction policy inside software restriction policies. Then go into the next box which is add additional rules and you can add a new hash rule inside here and once we've done that we can now restrict the uh, programs inside here so we're going to disallow any sort of security level for these and we're going to do PowerShell inside here and you can add whatever you like inside here this is just another way of doing things so what we're going to do is search for PowerShell and then we're going to add that into our list okay so let me just quickly look for PowerShell so let's uh, go back up to the folders here because PowerShell is in a folder, I think. And I just need to find it. It's called Windows PowerShell. And there we go. Inside here, go to version 1.0 and then click on PowerShell here and click OK. And it will add it inside here and we can disallow that program uh, from running. And we can do that with any other uh, program which we want to block. And we can build up our own little list here. Let's go to Computer Configuration administrative templates and in Windows components and then what we're going to do here is we're going to drag this down and we're going to look for other areas like Windows updates go inside here and what we're looking for here let me just try and find it it's just called no auto restart with logon and users scheduled automation that's it that's the one we need so we need to block this one here and click enable applying that and OK and you can go in and spend more time inside here and block other stuff if you wish okay delay restart on schedule uh, installations you can do that also you can also put in enable here and you can put in restart in so many time delay if you wanted to do that as well whatever you want to do with your sort of build OK, so that's all done. So let's move on to another folder in this location called Windows Installer. And we can look inside here and basically you can see turn off Windows Installer. You've got prohib rollback. We can also pre uh, prohib any sort of user installs and stuff like that. And that's probably going to be one that I'll do here. But you can see here we have rollback here. So if you wanted to uh, prevent people from rolling back, you can do and uh, you can just go on here and enable this feature if that's what you want to do if you don't you can leave it well alone and then go on to whatever you feels right for your uh, type of workstation now also inside here i'm just looking for prohib uh, user installs so there's one there prohib user installs we can uh, enable this feature as well and of course you can set this to hide user installs as well if you wanted to and apply that and okay and there's loads of other settings you can mess with inside here. These are just two items that I've selected here. But if you look in the list, there's a bunch of other stuff like turn off Windows installer uh, and all that sort of good stuff. So you can set this up exactly how you want uh, for your particular type of uh, uh, thing here. So we're going to go to task scheduler here as well and take a look at that area there. And you can see prohib new uh, task creation and you can set this to enable if you want to. And also uh, you can set this to prevent task run or end and also there's other ones like uh, a prohib browser so basically stop you browsing uh, the task scheduler so you can also set this up if you wanted to uh, prohib task deletion there's another one there to stop them deleting tasks once you've set a task to run you may want to stop them from tampering with it and you can do that also as well so there's plenty of other things you can do inside here another thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that the uh, default user account is disabled and by default now I think it is disabled but I'll just show you computer configuration 
and inside here we're looking for Windows settings and we're going to go into let's see I think it's security settings here there we go and I think we've got a low is it account policies or local policies I think it might be uh, local policies and is it inside security options I can't remember it's in one of these areas here I think it's actually security options here and uh, we're looking for there it is okay so we've got account guests account status here so you can see it disabled and you can see limited account use blank you can set this up exactly a like this is an important area inside here so you might want to uh, mess with this area inside here okay so I think we've got enough um, sort of settings done for now so what I'll do is I will close this down and we'll restart the PC and I'll show you what that actually does and of course you can spend much more time setting yours up and you can back these settings up so when you want to just roll this out across other machines you can do so let's quickly just reboot the system now you can also force these updates to be done via the command prompt if you wanted to but if you've disabled the command prompt it might not open so what we're going to do is just quickly restart uh, the computer it doesn't take that long and uh, once that's done we should be able to see uh, those features in action so let's go ahead and quickly log in here and I'll just quickly set this up now of course you're not going to be using a use uh, administrator account for that person so it'll make it even more difficult for them to do certain things you can lock this right down okay so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features now we will want to disable that task manager because people can do quite a bit of disruption from there so I will disable that and I'll show you that in a second so let me just quickly show you some of the uh, features that we blocked we com we blocked uh, command prompt and also PowerShell and also a control panel and a bunch of other things here so let's go ahead and do a quick search for some of these and uh, we'll see uh, what happens so when you start searching for reg edit you'll get a restriction here you won't be able to do it and also control panel we can click on this one here and push enter and you won't have access to that either and also we can uh, do command prompt and also PowerShell as well so let's do PowerShell first and you will see this app has been locked by the system administrator and that's because we added that in so if you added loads of others in there it will be locked out and also you can see command prompt is locked out by your administrator also so we won't be able to use that either so that's what you're trying to do is lock down the whole system and you may be thinking uh, what about if people get access via certain certain other areas so let me just quickly disable that task manager because that is another key area that you might want to uh, completely lock down as well and that's what we'll do so I'm just going to go inside here go user configuration here and uh, we also want to go into administrative templates go to system and it will be in control or uh, Dell options and that's what I was supposed to do earlier on but I completely forgot now you can see we've got access to this here so let me just quickly go into there and uh, we will then lock that down now this th will stop them from running um, commands from there as well so we're just going to quickly remove the task manager by clicking on remove task manager here and enable this feature and when they try to right click you'll see it's gone it's completely grayed out so they won't be able to open that and again you could spend more time doing all of this stuff and it will remove change password and any of that sort of stuff you can literally lock it right down okay so let's quickly try uh, the PC settings here you'll see PC settings also is now locked they won't be able to go in there either and they will just be able to use the applications that you set and designate them on their desktop so also inside here if you try to use this area inside here and type in here say for instance control panel or any of that sort of stuff and try to navigate via that method it will also block them out they won't be able to do any of that stuff and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can lock stuff down and you can reduce access to loads of other places on this computer if you wanted to to stop them from uh, doing anything with the computer apart from what they were designed to do which is basically work and again if you want to lock down notepad and other programs like that because you don't want them doing stuff inside here 
creating batch files and stuff like that you can do you can do that in that software um, policies area which I showed you when we uh, blocked PowerShell you can add that in there and it will block all them programs anyway I think that's going to be about it this has been long enough this video my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos